Hey guys, in today's video, um, I'm going to show you how to cut a top round, inside round uh, for London broils. Um, this is actually an older video I did about two or three years ago when I was a meat cutter. Um, this is on my other channel, and uh, that channel didn't really, um, that video didn't really fit that channel that I was, that I kind of had going. So I'm moving it to this one. And uh, a lot of people actually commented on that, saying that I was trimming off way too much fat and I was making it too lean. Um, and I agree with you. Uh, so when you watch the video, don't don't judge on on how I'm trimming off all the fat. That's just um, how the the owner of the meat shop actually liked all of his steaks. So I personally would leave some fat on there for flavor and um, honestly for just merchandising. So um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, Give me a like if you did, and uh, thanks for watching. Good morning, friends. This morning I'm gonna show you how to cut a top round into blender broils, so let's get into it. So I just wanted to take the time to say thank you to all my subscribers. Um, I've gained quite a few in the last couple months. So I just, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I just wanna say thank you uh, for supporting my channel and supporting me. Um, I really appreciate it. I really work hard on these videos, and uh, your views, your likes, your subscribes, they mean a lot to me, so. That keeps me uh, keeps me going for week to week making these videos. So thanks, guys. Okay, so um, this is a uh, top round. This is part of the whole round. Uh, what's included in the whole round is the uh, bottom round, eye round, and top round. Uh, these days they uh, they separate them into uh, individual pieces. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just because these these pieces here are a little bit more manageable to fit in maybe a, like a tray or something. Um, but last time I cut a whole round was, geez, about 10 or so years ago. So uh, anyway, let's uh, get into cutting this bad boy. First we're going to start out by taking this fat off. A little heavy on that one. Try not to go too deep into the, uh, the cap on this. There's a little lifter, a uh, little cap on this. I'll show you in a second here. But uh, you don't want to get too much into the meat. Of course, you don't really want to get too deep in the meat anywhere on this piece. But A lot of shops leave a little bit of fat on the, uh, on the top round, but we don't do that here. I personally think it looks a little nicer with a little, a little extra fat on top, but it's kind of uh, personal. So there's a little seam uh, that separates the, uh, the, the cap from the, the uh, lemon royal for the top round. I kind of want to peel that back, follow that seam down. Obviously, being uh, 95 degrees out, nobody's buying it, so we need to cut a fresh, fresh batch for the case. So, so then you want to uh, take off all, this is called uh, silver skin, you want to take all that off there, most of it, not all of it. It's not gonna, not gonna be bad, it's not gonna be good. Silver skin is kind of chewy, but that's really not a lot on there to really worry about. Okay, so we've got the uh, top all cleaned up. Now this is the bottom. Get all that silver skin off of here. So 
worse on the bottom actually, as far as senior being. shops where um, you uh, cut this little corner off and then you cut all the way down like this with the grain going this way. So that's the way you want to cut it. Um, there's, I mean, a lot, there's a lot of different ways to cut it. So another way you can cut it here and then turn it and then cut it into nice size little chunks all the way down. But the way we do it is we um, square this front piece up here, this is that flat piece screw that up and cut it into about two inch pieces. I like to get about five out of each uh, top round. Stick around, I'll see you on the next episode, and uh, you guys have a great week.